So to remove the spool valve, you undo the four millimeter nut. And when the four millimeter nut is undone without losing it, you can just pop out the bolt. It'll be oily. There's a bunch of little washers. Remember what side they came from. And then you can just pull off the coils and pop them up over the top. Now what you'll have is you'll have the spool valve inside the housing. And if you want to test how easy it moves, you can just touch it with your fingertips, your nails, and it should move very easily. If there was any reason to pull it out, it comes out very easy. You could look at it. This one's in really good condition. There's no reason to even touch it. So put it back in. Wiggle it in. Make sure there's no, uh, no dirt that got on it. As you wiggle it in, you just lightly move it. Make sure that there's no problems with it. It went in the same way it came out. Put the cap back on like so. Remember what I said about the little nuts or the washers? Of course I have to get them all picked up now and they're really small. They're all sort of magnetic so that if you drop them, not that you're going to, but if you did, you can put them on or pick them up fairly easily. So these all go on. The nut, you'll also notice, or the bolt, you'll also notice that the bolt is a lot smaller than the spool valve. It doesn't sit on this, this just holds the, uh, the coils in place. Pop that straight through. Put the nut back on, which can be a little bit of a pain. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Spin it on, whichever way you want to do it. And it says to use about a half a newton meter. When I pulled this one off, I used substantially more. Uh, it didn't look like they'd used any thread locker, but that could be an issue. Uh, you don't want to break that bolt. It is very small, as you saw. So now that I've got it relatively snug, just ever so lightly, ever so lightly, tighten it. And just like Juggernaut had done, uh, I pulled this one out just to show you exactly that you don't have to take the spool valve off at the top to uh, do that particular repair if you had stiction in your spool valve. 